of a late start this morning, so it's about nine already. We already had breakfast. Oh, uh, we had breakfast in our pajamas, so I didn't vlog breakfast. Um, so that's what we were doing. We had just a bunch of leftovers, a lot of eat yogurt and that kind of thing. For breakfast, today is a cleaning day. You know how it is after a big trip. So lots of cleaning, lots of tidying up to get ready for the work week. We're hoping to head to the farmer's market. Um, I think that's, we're gonna kind of have a low key chill Sunday as we just get ready to start another week. I had the whole week off last week, which was really nice. It's fall break for my school district, but Monday is a new day back in full swing. I am making a bacon wrapped chicken. Today we, I found an article in, or a recipe in Women's Day, like maybe a year ago, and my husband really liked it, and we have a whole chicken. So I'm gonna make a whole chicken today and slice it up and probably just have it for the rest of the week, which will be great for lunches and that kind of thing, because meal prep is a whole thing, and some weeks I feel great about it, and other weeks I'm just like, I don't want a meal prep but meal prep is necessary. Um, I bring my lunch every day at work. Um, teachers only get 35 minutes for lunch, so at least in my district, so it's not really enough to go out and grab anything, so I just eat in my classroom. I am hoping to get some more knitting done today. I'm hoping to try and get, to the, get through the foot decreases on my poison study um, socks. I did not get through any of the heel today. So, or last night, I was super tired. So we all just kind of went to bed. It was exhausting on the traveling with the toddler. Um, the podcast episode five just released. My sister does the editing for that. So I didn't have to do anything, but she posted it on our Instagram. Um, so the podcast is up and out. I just sent out the Google doc link to, for all our testers for the Steakling sweater. Um, it's, steak, it's a steaked baby sweater. Uh, the test is still open. We need a couple more sizes. I know it's pretty niche to do a baby sweater, but if you're looking for a quick knit, a gift baby knit, that kind of thing, um, test is still open. Um, I'm knitting the newborn size. You'll probably see me cast on either today or tomorrow. My sister is knitting the zero to six month size for the baby I'm, dirt, I'm due with in January. Uh, we call her baby sister. Um, so, and I've knit, I knit the two to four size for Lottie, my older daughter. So we're hopefully kind of cover all the sizes. We've got some fabulous testers in there. I'm super excited to have them, see their choices. I love being part of test knits. It's like a, it's like being part of a knit along and, but I don't know, I, the Instagram knit alongs are, great but it's kind of hard to engage and like remember who's who um so i like doing them in instagram group chats and i know ravelry isn't accessible for everyone i don't use ravelry very much we sell our patterns on ravelry but that's about all that i do with the ravelry chat and the groups and those kind of things and in case there's pattern support and shaley really manages our ravelry anyway um so we're i love the instagram group chats when we do test knits but I've rambled on enough. I'm gonna go clean while Lottie and Daniel are out on a bike ride and catch up with you a little bit later.
my chicken is taking an eternity to cook. It's been cooking for about two hours right now. I've got a little visitor hanging out with me. Um, it's been cooking for about two hours yet. It is still not cooked at all. It's only at 140. Thank you. It's only at 140 degrees and it needs to be at 165. So it looks like we camped out at home a little bit more while we wait for our uh, chicken to cook. The steakling test just started. Um, and of course, there were errors in the raglan um, marker setup. So I was frantically... Oh, oh, thank you for the towel. Um, there were errors in the raglan setup. But fortunately, my sister is knitting it too. So she caught most of the errors. She called me and was like, uh, gaps? This is all crooked. And I'm like, oh no. Mama. Yeah, please put mama's yarn back. Thank you. That's a big uh sorry for the interruptions. Sorry, it's real life. Um so Chaley called me, she helped me fix it. It was the three smaller sizes, which makes total sense because I knit the largest size as my sample. So I'm going back. I'm frantically casting on the newborn size for uh, my other daughter that I'm expecting in January. So I'm hopefully going to ca cast it on, knit super fast so I can jump ahead of where maybe some of the testers are and then uh, catch any more mistakes um, in the smaller sizes. But hopefully the testers are swatching right now and getting their gauge. So hopefully I didn't mess anyone up too badly. My sister, um, you want to charge mama's phone? Thank you. Okay. I'm um, sorry. She would like to charge my phone because I am notorious for my phone always dying. So um, my sister had gauge already for her yarn because it's a, it scraps from another yarn. So she was good to go. But hopefully I didn't mess my testers up too much. If I did, I'm so sorry. It is our very first sock. Uh, sorry, it's our very first sweater pattern. And man, it's tricky. Sweater patterns? The sizing with the shoulders and the chest and the shaping. And I think I'm going to stick to socks and shawls. But it's a good experience. I'm learning a lot. I'm glad it's baby sizes. So even if there are mistakes, it's not super time consuming to fix it because the sweater is so small. As well as it's, I didn't actually, I didn't like incorrectly guess the yarn because for most smaller children's sweaters, you only need one or two skeins, especially because this one's worsted weight. So I'm going to go, I'm going to cast on. We've got some more chores to do all day today. We're cleaning the bathrooms, cooking, got to paint a portion of the house, those glamorous things you do. I will check in with you later. Maybe I'll have some more stories of how the steakling test is going. We have finished eating dinner and we are kind of settling down for the evening. I'm wrapping up the vlog a little bit early tonight because I usually edit the vlog from like eight to nine, but I want to do some editing a little bit earlier because I start work tomorrow in the morning. So I wanted to give myself a little bit more time to get ready to lesson plan, to look over some students' emails, that kind of thing. So I cast on our, the Steakling sweater. It's in a, it's a test knit right now. Um, it's still open if you wanted to check it out. I'm knitting the newborn size. So this is in Knitted Wits um, Raspberry Milkshake. It's a Targi, which I think is just a tight, I think it's a species of sheep. Uh, it's a Targi Erin weight. I got it at our local yarn shop, which is uh, Fillery in San Jose. So I got it at the local yarn shop. Lottie picked it out a couple days ago. She said this is the, the yarn she wanted for baby sis. So I cast it on, uh, found a bunch more errors in the German short rows. So I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. I'm hoping that I'm going to try and knit all the way to the split, the sleeve, the sleeve split tonight. So that um, if there are quite, that I've look through all the pattern for errors again. I did knit this once already, but, um, and I, it's been tech edited. I don't know. I'm having trouble with it. 
Um, so I'm hoping to get to the sleeve split tonight so that if there are any questions, I will have resolved them before Monday when I'm teaching all day. So I've got, I picked out, I decided to theme the knit. So I've got a donut here and it's in my donut bag that if you watched day two of the vlog, you saw me knit. And then I've got these cute little, um, uh, like star confetti parker suit. My husband made them from, I think it was like Joann's or something like that. But I'm going to sign off for the evening. I've got a little helper who's bringing me all of her things sh that she thinks we're showing. She thinks I'm video chatting someone. Um, so I've got the detangler right here too, just in case you were interested in what she was bringing me. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day.